Here we have for sale our 2017 on a 17 plate Ford Transit 350. This is the two litre TDCI engine, 130 brake horsepower. Uh, the L3H2 models, so long wheelbase and the medium roof, but this van is far from standard. So we have, just starting with the spec here from the rear, which we can see, we have rear parking sensors. Um, these are the trend wheel trims. As you can see there, there is a side window, so there may be a clue of what is going on in the back there. As we go around to the front, we have got front fog lights and we have also got uh, front parking sensors as well. If we jump into the cab, the front part of the cab, we'll have a look at some of the spec that we've got going on here inside as well. So three seats in the front, we've got electric windows, electric folding mirrors, auto activated headlights, we've got the leather multifunction steering wheel, we have also got the cruise control there with the speed limiter, six speed manual gearbox to go along with the 130 brake horsepower engine. We have crucially as well got air conditioning just down there. Heated windscreen. If we press this little button up here at the top, you can open up the up there and you've got the USB port, AUX port and a 12 volt socket. We've got the key here. If we start the van up, we can have a look at the mileage. So 31,225 miles, I believe that was. 31,225, yep, that's right. We've also got the driver's armrest, and this here folds down in the centre for some extra cup holders and somewhere to store some paperwork. If we go around the other side now, as you can see here, the van is idling correctly there, no warning lights or anything like that. And just before we jump out, last thing here, if we put the van into reverse, you get the parking sensor display there. Okay, so let's jump out here. Let's go around and have a look at the rest of the van and see what's behind these seats. So we'll go around this way. As I mentioned previously, front fogs, front parking sensors. One owner from new as well, this van. If we open up the side loading door, you have got a glazed side loading door also with the opening window there at the top. If we open up the side loading door, we've then got six extra seats. So these seats are Scott seats. If you look them up online, they are a good brand uh, of seat. They are, um, you know, crash tested um, and uh, certainly well renowned in the industry. They're on these uh, rails here at the bottom. So you can, in fact, you know, remove these seats fairly easily if you wanted to. Uh, and you can also actually slide them along once you remove uh, or loosen the nuts, you can, uh, slide them along those runners there so if you wanted to just have say the three seats in but you wanted them you know slid further back i believe you could do so there um, with the fixings that these seats have got lovely gray grp flooring this is a very hard wearing floor that um, a lot of coach built um, or sort of you know vehicles like this will have this hard wearing floor so really nice uh, setup Little switch down here, if we flick that on, we have then got some LED lights up there at the top. And now if we jump in here, on the side, we've actually also got some USB ports there. I think there is one just behind there as well for your passengers. As I mentioned, these windows can open, so you can press on that there and open the window up there nicely. Lovely bit of spec that this van has also got is rear air conditioning or rear ventilation. Um, very, very nice bit of spec to have controlled up here um, above the above the cab. Not sure if the, the camera is focusing on that and uh, giving the, the correct light, but there's a nice, uh, you know, rear air conditioning there as well. You've got the vent just down there by the fire extinguisher, which blows the air out. Okay, and then just to go around to the rear of the van and have a look at the load area. So 
so rear barn doors. You can also open these barn doors up to the 180 degree uh, position like that. Just push uh, the little yellow thing over to the to the green lock and you can open them up like that. You can do that with both doors. In the rear here, the van is lined. We've got these nice tie down points uh, you know, around the back of the van as well. GRP flooring again, it's a very hard wearing floor. I always like to see that in vans. We've got another LED light up the top. This box here, you may wonder what this box is all about. This is basically the where the rear air conditioning is housed. So um, that's where, you know, obviously the, all the motor is and everything else, I believe. So you could remove that if you want, but you're gonna lose the functionality of that rear air conditioning. As I say, all completely lined. But one owner from new, lovely mileage, and a very unique conversion with, as I say, the nine seats, you know, the USB sockets, rear air conditioning, and obviously front air conditioning. Quite an unusual van. I can't imagine we're gonna have this one for very long. If you'd like to inquire on this van, please feel free to give us a call on either of the numbers listed there at the bottom of the sign. We'll be happy to provide finance figures. We can um, obtain very competitive finance rates um, on, our, on our vehicles. We can take cars or vans in part exchange, and we can also arrange test drives and viewings if you may wish so. So give us a call and come down and see what you think for yourself. Thank you very much for watching.